OK? Uh, the cover up rule. What the heck is the cover up rule? Well, think of it like a shortcut. Not many school actually teaches this. Any one of you learn this in school? Teacher mentioned you even heard of it before. Most of the students told me that they never even learned this before. Okay, so uh, it's kind of cool. Let me show you first. Then you probably think about it whether it's easier or not. Like for example, I want to show, I want to uh, solve this, right? All of us know that this is case one, and all of us know that it looks like this. Okay, and all, again, all of us know that all I need to do is to find A and B, and you multiply through blah blah blah. But I'm going to show you this magic. So I say by cover up rule. I can find my A surprisingly fast. How do I do that? Well, basically, A must be equal to, uh, well, minus 21 plus 11 over minus 5. And you get the answer of, uh, what is this? Minus, uh, minus 10, right? So it should be 2. That's my A. Oh. You must have the magical effect. Lah. When I first saw this, I was like, how did you do that? Right, yeah. then you want to learn, right? Okay. Just like you see magic tricks, then eh? you're very impressed. You want to learn, right? Yeah. Later I tell you the secret. Oh, very easy, right? But I want to show you first. Then you have the magic. Okay, how about B? How to find B? Oh, so very easy. You see, uh, I'm going to substitute x equal to 2 inside here. Okay, so 2 times 7, 14, right? 14 plus 11. And I'm going to put 2 inside here. Okay, and I get 5. And that's going to give me 25 divided by 5, which is 5. That's my A and B. Done. Is it sure or not? Okay, yeah, yeah. let me show you the, the original way that you learn it. Huh? Okay, original way is like that, right? Uh, 7x plus 11 equals to A times x minus 2 plus B times x plus 3. So if I want to find A, I have to substitute x equals to minus 3. And when I substitute x equals to minus 3, I'm going to get uh, minus 21 plus 11 equals to minus 5A, where A then becomes minus 11 divided by 5, which is 2. Correct, huh? Okay, how about B? Well, in order to find B, I'm going to substitute x equals to 2. Uh, put it inside there. I'm going to get 14 plus 11 equals to this. will become 0. That's cool. I get 5B. And therefore, B is equal to 25 divided by 5, which is 5. Same answer. But I think that one look more cool, right? It's like, wow, I can do mentally. One. Okay. So what's going on? Well, this is called the cover-up rule. Basically, first learn the rule, then learn the, uh, the, the working mechanism behind. Okay, the rule is actually very simple. In fact, we're actually doing exactly the same thing there, except without writing it down. What do I mean? Well, basically, in order for you to find A, uh, let's say you want to find A, all you need to do is to pay attention to the denominator. Okay? So pay attention to the denominator, and you ask yourself, how do I make the denominator 0? Let x equal to minus 3. Then what you do is you're going to substitute in x equal to minus 3 here and here, but not here. Why? Well, because if you substitute x equal to minus 3, minus 3 plus 3 is 0, you cannot have denominator 0, what? Right? So that's why it's called cover-up rule. You really just cover up the part that doesn't make sense. And then you see that's exactly what's happening, isn't it? Minus 3, and then I get my answer A. Now, in order to find B, you take a look at this, and there's ah. Let x be 2. So I put x equal to 2 here, I put x equal to 2 here. I cover up this. Because otherwise this doesn't make sense. So then you get a b. Now if you think about it, it's actually not very secretive magic. In fact, it's exactly as what we are doing here. Except that it seems magical because there is a very lack of answers. And in fact, if you can do this calculation in your head, which I think some of you can, you get immediately A equal to 2. You don't even need to show anything, right? It's like, wow, how do you do that? Well, actually, the secret is all here. It's not a secret at all. Basically, you think about it. If I want to find A, I want to get rid of B. Correct? And how to get rid of B? I substitute x equal to minus 3. And when I do that, this will be gone. And your A, if you think about it, I make A the subject. Uh, A is actually 7x plus 11 over x minus 2, which is... Agree, huh? So you just put that minus 3 inside here, which is here, and then you get A. That is the secret. It's actually the same, just that you never show much working. Okay? And that's the cover rule. Kind of useful, 
especially when you got easier question. What do I mean easier question? Let me show you quickly. Yeah. Uh, then you appreciate it. For example, I got this. And you go like, wow, this one very jialat, no, got three, yeah? Uh, if you know the cover up rule, trust me, this three is not that hard. Okay? First of all, to find A, put x equal to one. Cover this up, right? So you know that it's one over one minus one minus one minus two. A is equal to half. Done. Understand? Try, try, think, think, think in your head, come on, A equal one, right? A equal one, one minus two minus one, one minus three minus two. That's your A. How to find B? All right, let's try. B, AX equal to 2. Cover this one up. So 1 over 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 minus 1 minus 1. So B is minus 1. Done. Understand? How to find C? Minus 3. Cover up this one. Right? X equal to 3. Uh, cover up, not erase. I'm sorry. Yeah. Cover up. Right? X equal to 3. So 3 minus 1 is uh, 2, 1. You save that few seconds, every question, it adds up to a minute. And that one minute, for all you know, you spotted one more question that you did carelessly, and then you can earn that extra two marks to get A1. Uh, okay, I'm a bit dramatic here, but I think you get the idea. Can? Better to know more. Okay, now, 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 now. Being all shortcuts, uh, there's always a danger because it doesn't work all the time. And that's important. You better know what are the restrictions of this shortcut. Okay, it turns out that there are a few. Right. First restriction is when we have this kind, uh, what we call repeated factor, right? Now, let's see, guys. Repeated factor, we have A over X plus 1, and we have B over X minus 2, uh, okay, no square first. And then we have a C over X minus 2 square. Now, think, guys, if I want to apply my cover-up rule to find A, can or not? Answer is yes. Okay, so by cover-up rule, I substitute X equals to minus 1, I get my A, and I cover up this joker, all right, uh, minus 1, I get 20 minus 2. Minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3. Minus 3 squared is 9. So I get uh, 18 over 9, which is 2. That is how I can do my cover rule to find A. Okay, now, last thing. Uh, if I want to do the cover rule to find B, what do I do? Well, you think about it. Hey, let X be 2, right? Uh, then you, you cover up this one, right? Okay, then you get the B. Then how do I find C? Let X equal to 2 also, right? Uh, and then you cover up this one, A. Then B and C, same number. And B and C, always same number. Not true, right? Because just now we're done, right? We realize that B and C may not be the same number. But cover rule seems to suggest that, right? It turns out that cover up rule does not work for this. No, no. Uh, okay, great. No, it's worse. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it does not work for B. But it still works for C, all right? And we still can do it for C. What do I mean? Uh, let's try, okay? So substitute x equals to 2, all right, cover up this one. So my c is equal to 2, right, uh, wait, hold on, minus 40, right? Minus 40 minus 2 is minus 42. Cover up this one is minus 2 minus, uh, minus 2 plus 1, minus 1. So c is 42. That is correct. But you obviously know that b won't work. Uh, you better remember, all right? Uh, so cover up rule can still help you solve this too uh, fast enough. Then the next question is, let me tell how, how to find b. We'll do the normal way, though. No choice. Uh. This one you really have to do the normal way. But at least out of the three unknowns, you get one, you only left with one, which means that your so called multiply throughout uh, will be much easily solved. Uh, eh, sorry, C we know already, right? C is 42. Okay? Uh, so now no choice, uh. you got to write this down and you try to find B, which is easier now because only one unknown, you can substitute any number you like which zero is our favorite. Okay, sub in zero here, sub in zero there, find B. Then you get the answer. Okay, any questions? Hi, yeah, you all should ask, why doesn't it work for B? How do you know? How do you know it doesn't work for B, but it works for C? Why not the other way around? Correct, right? these are all very good questions. You better know, because if you don't know, you don't know it fully. When you don't know it fully, then you use the cover rule, it's like a formula, like magic. Sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work, and you don't know why. So you better learn under, to understand a little bit. All these magic are not that scary, are not that scary. Okay, so basically, you, you think about it. Uh, if you do the normal way, this is what will happen, right? Mm, okay, the normal way, this is what you will get. 
Okay, great. Now, I want you to think, guys. Find A, I make B and C disappear, can or not? Can, right? Let X be minus 1. And that's exactly how it works here, right? The carve out rule, right? Okay, so because when this disappear, then your A will be simply this one bring down. It's just here. That's how I get the A, by putting X equal to minus 1. Agree? Now, think again, okay? If I want to find C, okay? I make A and B disappear. What do I do? I put A equals to 2. Makes sense, right? And that's exactly what's happening here. Where X equals to 2, uh, then your, B, your C will be this number here. Agree? All right, so that's how it works, huh? the cover rule. Huh? Now, if I want to find B by getting rid of the A and C, you realize that cannot. Because if you put X equal to 2, your B also gone one. If you put X equal to minus 1, your B also gone. Basically, either or, your B is gone. You cannot find B at all by substituting those values. Understand? So the cover rule works for any linear denominator as well as the repeated factor, but the one with the square. Okay? The one with the square. So the one in between, no. All right? And you better not understand why, because of this, right? Because if you substitute 2, the B will be gone. Substitute minus 1, B is still gone. All right? So you cannot find B through this shortcut. Okay? Clear? All right? So, uh, obviously, when I teach you something new, I want you to use it and practice it. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time. Okay, so never mind, come next lesson, we shall try uh, for you to practice some of this. Yes, you want to ask something? Yeah, 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 you can, you can sum any number you like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 5B, any number. Because only last unknown is easy. Yeah, last unknown is always easy. Okay, okay, good.